Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going back into the Amazon tool deals and I really hope you guys enjoy. We're going to be looking at tools that are either on sale, tools that even at their full price I believe to be good deals, or tools I find to be interesting and would like your guys' opinion on if you guys have uh, any experience with them. The first one up we're looking at a Kodo, Kodo, I don't know, helping hands soldering platform basically. So this is one that I actually just purchased. I'm waiting to get in because we're going to be doing some wiring for the Camaro again. So I just did the sound system in it. You guys will see those videos soon, uh, which I soldered all those wires, but didn't really need helping hands with that. But I couldn't find my helping hands. I had that cheap little one from Harbor Freight for many years, and I don't know what I did with it. But I'm going to be installing a relay on my push button start to my starter. I want to add a relay in there just to be safe. There are plenty of opportunities where I could have used helping hands, and I think this is a good situation for that. So I just want to have a good one on hand, uh, and I went through a lot of them. There's a lot of different brands. This one has a lot of good reviews, and uh, seems to be very well built compared to some of the others that are like lookalikes and stuff like that. So this one has four and a half stars at 1,860 ratings, so rated very highly and a lot. This is $23 down from $30, so a savings of 23%. And this one comes with four arms. You can get them with, uh, you know, two arms, five arms, ten arms, ten attachments. You can get them with a lot of different things and different sizes and all of that. Uh, you do have some alligator clips up here with uh, rubber boots on them to kind of protect your wiring so you're not digging into them or chewing them up or anything like that. It's a little bit safer on the wiring and stuff. You get four 12-inch movable arms, flexible arms, anti-slip rubber feet, heavy-duty steel plate, 360-degree adjustment for the alligator clips made of stainless steel. Here's everything included, so you get your four rubber feet, six alligator clips, the base plate, and your four flexible shafts. And then you can put them wherever you want, uh, located on these holes with the feet. I believe you can move them to the center of the board as well where you see those holes. Also keep in mind there are some magnetic ones out there where these flexible shafts are just kind of ma magnetic to the steel plate on the bottom, which is kind of nice. Uh, but I figured with this, this is going to be perfect for what I need. You can see that it's definitely some pretty heavy duty stuff. It's got weight so it's not moving around. You got rubber feet to help it from moving around. There you can kind of see it in use. I figured it's a good product. We'll be testing it out. I'll have a video installing the relay for this uh, push button start and everything. So uh, stay tuned for that video. But I think this is a good product for $23. Just keep in mind there are a lot of other ones available. I'm sure if we just scroll down, you can see a lot of other ones here. So ranging anywhere from the $23 up to $70. And then you got one that holds your soldering iron and stuff like that. I don't need that. Mine's a standalone. So I found the best one that would fit my needs for the money. Next up is a Knipex product. This is the two-piece extra long needle nose pliers. Uh, this one has a keeper pouch. And this here you can kind of see the part numbers of each individual one and the pouch. And then the product number for the entire kit. This is down from $106 to $76, a savings of 28%. This has five stars at 500 ratings. I've had these for probably three years, and I've really enjoyed these. So I've originally purchased the Harbor Freight Long Reach Needle Nose Pliers, and I realized how much I actually use them. So I wanted to get a good quality set, and I really like the design of these. They're extremely strong. They're very well built really well engineered and I like the features that they have. So you get these straight and the angled end and then here you can see the open jaw right there and then you got some smooth jaw for holding wires or splitting wires or grabbing small fasteners and then you got small teeth up here as well. So a lot of features here in the jaw uh, that really come in handy and they're really durable and Knipex has never let me down and for $76 I think this is a fantastic price for the two piece set. It doesn't show anywhere as far as the pouch or anything that it comes in. But if you would like, you can kind of pause there and read some of the information or here. So this is Lobtex. This is a another Japan 
product. I have quite a few Japan made tools and I've really enjoyed them. Uh, their quality is extremely high. Uh, their pricing when you can find it is really good. These are actually running $31 right now. There's not a whole lot of lob techs. They also call them lobster pliers. Uh, their brand, I believe. This is another set that I may consider picking up, but I think if I pick up another set of pliers, which I don't need uh, necessarily, I'll probably pick up the twin grips from Knipex, but these you can see are coated in either a black oxide or a black phosphate. Uh, it's got a black coating of some sort on it and it also has that flush mount pivot uh, cutting edge the open jaw and then up here it actually has screw extraction you can see the horizontal and vertical teeth in there here's a better image from the front the sizes overall not a whole lot of information on here i did want to start adding in some other german made products and japan made products and stuff like that so I thought this was kind of a cool design, another product. It's got a good comfortable grip, that grit style, dipped rubber. And uh, overall, I think it's a really good design. And once again, like I stated before, everything that I've used from Japan has been fantastic, top notch. Next up, we were looking at Milwaukee 2457-20. This is their M12 cordless 3.8 lithium ion ratchet. This is the bare tool, and this is the old design. Uh, I did notice you know like when they're selling milwaukee's selling their combo sets like i noticed like they're throwing these in at one point i thought they were going to stop selling these but as far as i know like i'm still seeing them everywhere so you have this design and then you have the new design which kind of has a little bit bigger head but it also has more power uh, but there are still a lot of people that really enjoy this and it's priced very well like i remember two years ago like when they released i think it was roughly two years ago maybe a little bit more when they released the new cordless ratchets these dropped down to a hundred dollars and that was a great deal and now they're floating around the seventy dollar price range this one's normally ninety eight dollars down to seventy four dollars savings of twenty five percent four and a half stars at one thousand three hundred and two ratings and uh, so this one's got a little bit slimmer head a little bit less torque 35 foot pounds and i believe the new ones are 40 and 45 depending on the drive size that you get this one has 250 rpms as far as speed it's got the variable speed trigger uh, overall it's still a great design it's just the version one of the milwaukee cordless ratchet so this one's at 74 dollars and then another seller has the exact same product here savings of 11 percent originally was 83 dollars down to 73 dollars and 95 cents so five five cents cheaper <laughs> <laughs> but the original list price was already cheaper than the other one. Either way, they're all floating around that $75 price range, which I believe to be a great deal for this version one of the cordless ratchet. If you guys have this one, please let me know your guys' thoughts. I know there are a lot of people out there that wish the speed was higher or wish that they had uh, a little bit more power, but I mean, for this price, I think it's still a great little cordless ratchet. Uh, so if you have the M12 lineup, it's definitely something to consider. Uh, I think at that price range, it's it's really good deal. This one specifically has four and a half stars at 5,978 ratings. So this one's uh, got a few more ratings than the previous one that we looked at. And then here's the Johnson Level and Tool 700 Magnetic Angle Locator. And this is actually one that I'm gonna be purchasing because we're gonna be installing the new rear end in the Camaro, Camaro here soon. If you guys know the third gen, they have a torque arm that runs from the rear end to the either transmission or trans cross member depending on if you've upgraded that at all or changed transmissions uh, mine runs to a tubular it's a tubular torque arm that runs to a tubular trans cross member uh, but i want to make sure that i get the angle correct from the pinion to torque arm to the front end so there's a certain pinion angle that you're looking at to make sure that the drive shaft and the torque arm are within a certain angle to make sure that when you do launches and anything like that that uh, you're not getting any harsh angle or anything like that so i think it's something like minus two or uh, so degrees but i figured i almost bought an electronic one but i'm not going to find myself using this a whole lot so i figured this one it's made in the usa it's nine dollars down from fourteen dollars a savings of 36 percent four and a half stars at 1971 ratings it's got a lot of good reviews it's priced just right for something that you know 
I'm going to use here and then I'll use it to, you know, check it gradually or possibly make adjustments in the future. And it'll be handy to have just in case I ever need it for anything else, but not something that I'm going to use a whole lot. But for $9, I think it's a really good deal. If you guys used one of these, please let me know your guys' thoughts. Once again, I don't have any personal experience with this one, but I figured for $9 being made in the USA, it should be plenty good for what I'm looking for. I mean, it's literally just a an angle locator, so it's a very simple product. But that's it as far as this week's Amazon tool deals, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any ideas or brands or types of tools that you would like to see in these Amazon tool deal videos, please drop it down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.